Most people believe that scooter riders simply use their vehicles for daily routines. They assume scooters are built to be used for motorway commute and city mobility only. Yet underneath the surface lies urban riders' unfulfilled quest to occasionally get out of their comfort zones and expand their horizons in all directions. Welcome to Motoscope. A wider handlebar to improve ease of maneuverability and a higher seating position. Allow riders the freedom to seek the adventures they desire in their everyday lives. Introducing the all-new 2022 Kimco DTX 360. That fuel-injected liquid-cooled, 4-valve, SOHC, single-cylinder 321 cubic centimeters engine, pumping out 28.4 horsepower or 21.2 kilowatts at 7,250 rpm and 30 newton meters at 5,750 rpm, in a package weighing in at a claimed 194 kilograms. That's actually 5 kilograms heavier than the downtown 350i. The lighting package is different too, although like the downtown 350i, it's an all-LED affair, and the distinctive black and orange color scheme is unique to the DTX360. The Kimco DTX360 also has a higher, more commanding ride position, courtesy of a higher and wider handlebar for extra leverage, and a different seat which increases the saddle height from 775mm to 800mm. A steel frame with molded plates with a suspension system consisting of a 37mm hydraulic telescopic fork, 110mm travel at the front, and single swing arm with double adjustable shock absorber of 100mm travel at the rear. The disc brakes are 260mm in diameter with a 3-piston caliper at the front and 240mm with a 2-piston caliper at the rear, respectively. The light alloy wheels are 5 spoke and are fitted with 12080 by 14 inches knobby tires at the front and 15070 by 13 inches at the rear. As for tech, there's the mandatory Bosch ABS plus switchable traction control. The LCD instrumentation is clear and easy to read, the keyless starting system with multifunction ignition switch works well, and there's a USB charger hidden under a cover in the center of the dash. The Kimco DTX360 is perfectly fine on a dirt road, a whole lot of fun, even, and its ABS is actually very nicely calibrated, maintaining the bike's composure while allowing decent braking force over a range of crappy surfaces. 2022 price starts at $8,790 on the road roughly $439,500 in Philippine Peso. Are you planning to buy this motorcycle unit? Let me know in the comment box below. Also don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.